Hello, I'm Jimmy from Mosat Games, and this week I've been working on some optimizations for Logic World. So here we are in an older version of the game, and in front of me we have a wall of circuits. There are about 15,000 inverters here, and each one is hooked up to itself, locked in an infinite cycle of inverting its own output from on to off and then on again. This is pretty much a worst case scenario for Logic World simulation. With almost all builds, most of the circuitry will not need to be updated during a given logic tick. Even with huge CPUs connected to giant memory banks, you'll pretty much never have more than 100 or 200 components simultaneously updating. You'll really only see something this crazy if you are intentionally being mean to the game. And mean to the game I am, Logic World is badly struggling to update all this circuitry. Visually it's only updating about once per second, even though internally it should be updating 300 times per second. There's also a big lag if we try to interact with the world, because the server is so strained by the circuit simulation. Plus there's this horrible bug where unconnected input pegs are synchronized to an essentially random circuit state until they've been connected to something. And if we open the console, it is revealed that the game is straight up not capable of simulating the logic as fast as is being demanded. You can see these messages here that the simulation is skipping time to avoid an infinite death spiral. And these aren't actually accurate numbers. If we pause the simulation, we'll get a message about all the time previously unaccounted for. So, altogether, not great. Not very impressive. Now let's hop into the latest version of Logic World, fresh, juicy, performant code. We're in the same world, but the lag here is minimal, and if we open up the console, there are no messages about skipped time because the server is totally on top of things. Everything is nice and smooth, even though there is an insane amount of logic being calculated on that wall. Plus, I fixed that horrible bug. Like I said, this is pretty much a worst case scenario for Logic World, so the fact that it's now handled gracefully is really pleasing. It means that actual realistic scenarios can be simulated crazy fast. A while ago I achieved over a million updates per second while running a binary counter, without any lag or slowdown. I've got more optimizations in the works to ensure that you can build big and beautiful in Logic World. Stay tuned for future fast videos.